After a delayed start to Sunday's one-day international at the Adelaide Oval, Sri Lanka sent Australia into bat and the home side started poorly on the rain-affected ground. Hitting on the up, not quite timed, and Angelo Matthews has his first. Having lost Aaron Finch in the fourth over, Phil Hughes was gone in the seventh. Arashi says it's well worth it. At two for 12, Australia were in trouble, but Captain George Bailey improved the situation. Bailey and David Hussey took the home side past 50 before Lasith Malinga ended Bailey's innings at 26. Yeah, and a good catch. Hussey continued to fight for the men in green and gold before Tilakaratna Dilshan produced something special. Good opportunity, mix up. And halfway through their innings, Australia were 6 for 83. Brad Haddon and Ben Cutting added 57 for the seventh wicket, but brilliant bowling from Malinga kept the wickets coming for Sri Lanka, while Clint Mackay was out after a bizarre DRS decision. He gets an edge, does he? Does he get the edge? They're pleading, yes, please, come on, put the finger up. Just needs to be a little flick and there's nothing. Nothing there, the ball passing. Oh! I don't know how on earth that has been overturned and given out. Mackay can't work it out. Brad Haddon added a crucial half century, but the veteran wicketkeeper eventually holed out in the 47th over, and Australia was all out for 170. Tillamana takes the catch, and that landed the Australian innings. McKay gave Australia a boost in the first over of Sri Lanka's innings, but after Dilshan and Lahiru Tiramana got their eye in, they took Sri Lanka past 50 at the 15 over mark. And he earns four more. Australia needed a breakthrough, but Steve Smith failed to grasp this tough chance, and with Hughes forced to take the gloves after Haddon succumbed to a hamstring injury, the game seemed to be slipping away from the hosts. Well forward of square and in the middle of the bat. Tiramana claimed a half century in the 24th over, with Sri Lanka needing just over three runs per over to win. And the tourists continued to cruise towards victory, getting within 50 runs of Australia's target, with 20 overs remaining. Australia managed to grab another wicket, with Dilshan out for 51. But nothing could stop Sri Lanka, with Tiramana scoring the winning runs in the 41st over to claim his maiden ODI century and tie the series at one win apiece. Put the elation on the face of that young man, his first ever one-day international hundred, and the winning runs came with the stroke.